Yes, we are here. We are at the very, very, very last chapter of Times Square on the episode Choose Your Story of. I am so sad. This story is officially over. The last chapter was the finale. This is the bonus chapter. This story has been amazing. Amazing in every way possible. I loved the characters. It had the perfect balance between towards the end. It had it was very serious and there were some very real problems going on while also still having so much fun humor involved. Janine's humor is amazing. So funny. I mean, knowledge in this chapter, I think there's going to be some interviews with the characters, I believe, and uh, some bonus stuff. I think there might be the art scenes again, which if you want to see them, go read it yourself to go look at all the beautiful art scenes. But I had so much fun doing the story. I want to say a big, big special thank you to Janine right now. Thank you so, so, so very much for letting me read and react to your story on my channel. It means everything to me and I had such an amazing time. Thank you so much for letting me do this. It means everything. But everybody, if you enjoyed this and enjoy Times Square, please go read Janine's stories on the episode app. Go check them out. Go follow her social media. She's brilliant. She's amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like as it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Okay, so here we are at the interviews. Let's start with Ramona and Liam. Are you ready? Ready? Liam, if Ramona was a worm, would you date her? What? If she was a worm, guys, that's so mean. We didn't see her wedding. Well, you did see Armin and Jay's wedding. It's kind of cliche to end the story with a wedding. Yes, let our wedding remain a mystery. Honestly, I kind of like that. We saw Armin and Jay's, but there's... I kind of like that. Fine, here's a little glimpse of it. Oh, we get a little glimpse. Oh, we got the beach wedding. Oh, Alice is there. I, Ramona, was born at a very young age. <laughs> um, the cutest couple ever. I mean, I have to agree. They are adorable, especially knowing how their story started. What's your favorite memory from each other? Oh, the Times Square, the very first one. Okay. Okay. I can see why that's the favorite. How many kids do you want? Three. Don't worry, we're already making baby number three. Oh, they busy. They busy. They getting it on. They getting cardio. What is the most embarrassing thing Ramona has done? Too many to mention embarrassing is her middle name. If I hadn't been for that kiss, do you think your path both would have crossed paths? Ooh. I don't think so. I have to disagree with you, lover. I think we still cross paths. Oh, yeah, how? I never told you this, but I saw you in front of the pharmacy store. Oh, yeah. Did we see this? This is the best day of my life. Everyone, the war is over. Oh, no, I don't think we actually... Did we actually I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It was so long ago, I kind of forgot. You were so beautiful that everything went slow motion to me. And on my mind, something. someone's telling me to go talk to you. So yeah, even if we don't kiss, I still know where to find you. Ooh, that's cute. What do you like the most about each other? His honesty and patience. Her clumsiness. <laughs> How do you do it when Regan surrounds? They plan. We do it at Starkey's room. What? What do you both think about each other when you first saw? Oh, sparks are flying. That's what. Yeah, okay, we get it. Next question. When was the moment that you realized that you love each other? Oh, this is interesting. I think of after a month of knowing him. Same. Well, I was already infatuated with you when we kissed. Liam, who's your favorite brother-in-law? Um. Um, they're both staring. Samson, I was literally just thinking about to say, uh, we can live with that. That's saved. Ramona, do you guys role play him bit? Oh, we get into juicy questions. Tell us the tea. No, that wasn't a very, well, I'm already sleeping with a hot soldier. I don't think we need to role play. Oh, oh, Miss Ramona. Next question, but Regan and Samson are so precious. Yes, they are. 
that I poop my pants. <laughs> Ew. Um. Yeah, sometimes I don't like them. Who's be oh, Who's better? Who's better? We're listening. This is not a competition. If you could have a theme song, oh, they didn't answer. If you could have a theme song for yourselves, which one would it be and why? I don't know. I can't decide. I have one in mind. Oh, yeah, do tell. Lover by Taylor Swift. Lame. Oh, I was actually like, that's cute. Lame, was it weird knowing your dad was involved with Ramona's mom? Well, yeah, it's so weird to think that Ramon and I could have been siblings. That that could have been a thing. I wouldn't be me if my parents are my mom and your dad. True, though. Yeah. Favorite position. Can you leave our sex life alone? How many relationships have you been in? See, we get in questions. Three before I met Liam. So you're fourth. And let's keep it that way. How about you, Liam? Two. So I'm third. No, you're second. You only have one ex. Why well, I feel bad for my image now. <laughs> How many rounds do you do every night? Seven's the seven. Oh my gosh. Seven amateurs. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, okay. Bring them in. Let's hear yours. Ramona, would you date Sarki if you didn't know Liam? No, she wouldn't because I would date Sarki. Oh, no way. Would you buy Bitcoin and keep your savings? No, come on. Janine and Lara. Sorry, Arias and Ksenia. Ramona and William. Kids right after marriage or wait for a few years after? Well, I think you know the answer by now. Who's a small and big spoon? Lover here is the small spoon. Guilty. Ramona, favorite gun. Except Liam's. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're done with that one. Let's do Ari and Lars. If you can go back in time, would you still marry Cassinia and Janine? Did they both just turn? They said, you better answer this correctly. That's a stupid question. Of course, we're still going to choose them. Sin help. What do you like about your wives when they're asleep? It's so peaceful when the dragons are asleep. Ar Aries, how long is your pee <laughs> Uh, who's asking? Next question, please. Lars, can you be my husband? Do you have a death wish? Whoever asked that, I will bury you 10 feet under. Aries, why are you so handsome? Also, you're a great big brother. Oh, the fans are asking the real questions. Aw, thanks. You're not a great big brother. Shut up. Lars, why do you let your wife be mean to you? This is his karma for always bullying Ramona. Aries of all nurses, why Ksenia? Have you seen my wife? She's beautiful inside and out. Oh, they're giving some good answers now. They're saving themselves. Aw, oh, someone's getting laid tonight. Lars and Aries, who's your favorite child? Oh, uh, next question. Who is a more protective brother? I think you should ask Ramona that question. How much do you love your sister? So much. On a scale from zero to burgers. Burgers with bacons. Lars, if it were really up to you, would you really name your baby Armin? If not, what name then? No, we were planning to name her Maple, the apprentice witch from The Legend of Zelda. My wife is obsessed with that game. Isn't it obvious their firstborn's name is Link? Oh, that's cute. That's real cute. Aries, do you want your kids to join the army? No. Lars, do you want more kids? No, that's enough. Who's the freakiest between you two? Lars, obviously. Aries, you're such a daddy. <laughs> Aries don't know what to do with himself. Oh, wait. Okay, he's good. Lars, are you really adopted? Aries, can you chill the F out? What did I do? Favorite thing about Ramona? She's selfless. She's sweet and caring. Who lost the V-card first? Lars. Geez, thanks for throwing me under the bus, brother. Who's the most annoying sibling? Samson. Mm, rest in peace, Samson. Who's the better son? I am. <laughs> they both said I am. I am. You're a dog. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. And he got decked. <laughs> How, oh, we're back. I thought, how old are you guys again? But Aries, Aries got, Aries is hurt. Aries is wounded. 36, 
42. Damn, they look good. Lies up makes you really angry when someone insults Ramona. I'm the only one who's allowed to insult her. They're so cute and protective. Same goes for Janine. Aries, who was the worst boyfriend Ramona ever had? Raul, period. That a-hole tried to get into my sister's pants. Stupidest thing Ramona did. Went to combat and cheated on her year analysis for Liam's ending. You guys are old enough to be my parents, but I don't mind. <laughs> Who is more fatherly? Lars. What? Aries isn't having it. Castinia, you were supposed to be my ally here. Oh, you would have been more fatherly if you didn't spend more time in the army. Next question, please. Do you like Leo? Yes, he's a man of focus and commitment. That line sounds familiar. Daddy Aries can lock me in a bedroom any day. <laughs> Lars, did you buy Janine's donuts when you two met? No, I didn't get the chance. Her friend dropped the donuts, remember? Hey, ladies, what's up? Okay, so this is a flashback. This is when the donuts dropped. So he didn't get a chance. Who is the coolest father among you two? We're both cool in our own way. Aries, why are you so serious? Am I really? Well, sometimes any marriage advice the most important words for the successful marriage i'll do the dishes what about you lars any marriage advice two golden rules to a happy marriage one the wife is always right two when you feel she is wrong slap yourself and real read rule number one again all right now we got our man why did the questions have to be in this glowing box Dad, for the last time, it's called a cell phone. Cell phone, got it. Okay, first question. If you can go back when you're still single, would you still choose Lois? This is the question. Or wait for Jay's husband to die and then get back with her? First question, and it already stabbed my heart. I would still choose Lois. Simply because we have four amazing kids. I would choose Lois over and over because I want my kids to exist in this world. They're very important to me. Why did you stay with Lois even after learning she's still not over Winston? My love for her is unconditional and I don't want Aries to have a broken family. If you could see Lois one more time, what would you tell her? I'll tell her that our kids and I are doing just fine and that I love her so much. Let's go back to the time when you and Jay are still in high school. I mean, he's given good answers. Would he still join the army after knowing what will happen in the future? Kids, why are you making this so hard for me? Yes, I would still join the army. As I mentioned, Lois and I and our kids are very important to me. Real talk. Who do you love the most, Jay or Lewis? Who do you love now? I want another truth. Who do you love now? I know it's someone new. Uh oh, I love Jay the most. She's the love of my life. Okay, and we got the answer. I love Lo. Oh. Oh, he's, he's given he's given that answer. I love Lois because she's my wife and the mother of my kids. Screw it, it's complicated. Can we please move on from Lois and Jay? How sure are you Aries is yours? Are you kidding me? The goof looks like me, poor kid. <laughs> Next question, who's your favorite kid? I hate them all equally. Ramona. <laughs> he's so cute. Who's the most responsible kid? Aries, of course. What was your reaction when he found out you're having twins? I don't have twins. If you're talking about Samson and Ramona, they're not twins. Samson is two years older than Ramona. Why did you end up having four kids? I didn't. That's interesting. I wanted a daughter. Who's your least favorite kid? No one. The boat is sinking and you can only save one kid. Who will you save? Ramona, because boy, my boys know how to swim. You know he wanted to throw that Ramona answer out so badly. Aries or Lars? Samson. Is Lars adopted? No. Plus, if I'm an adopted kid, I wouldn't choose him. I heard that. Who's your favorite gang kid? Johan, just because he's always asleep and not doing any crazy stuff. What do you think of Loki? He might end up in an orange jumpsuit someday. I wouldn't be surprised. Why is Loki evil? Like mother, like son. Lars and Jeanine are expecting another kid. Are you hoping for a boy or a girl? A girl named Armin would be nice. <laughs> that would be interesting. What's, who's your favorite daughter-in-law, Ksenia or Janine? I love them both equally. And nope, they're not pointing a gun at my head behind that camera right now. Let's move to Ramona and William. Are you okay with Liam and Ramona being together despite their age gap? Love is love, everyone. Do you like Liam? If you read episode 22, you know the answer. 
Do you still hold a grudge with Liam's dad? Not anymore. I shouldn't even hold a grudge at him. It wasn't his fault. Plus, he saved my life. Doesn't Liam and Ramona remind you of Winston and Lois because they look the same? I do and it hurts, but I care for my daughter's happiness. What will you do if Liam hurts Ramona? I will slit his kneecaps and ship him to Antarctica. If you're watching Liam, watching this little interview, you better watch out. Don't mess with Daddy Armin. Do you want to be my sugar daddy? I can be your sugar baby. Uh, why are you so hot? Will you marry me? Leave Jane, marry me instead. I love you. For a 65 years old, you're effing hot. You're such a daddy. Jesus. Thank you for attending my TED Talk. I love you, my soldiers. Oh, he's talking to his fans. He said, I love you, my soldiers. He knew how to work it. Okay, let's do... We'll do Samson. Why are you such a playboy? Damn that question already. Oh, Samson, rest in peace. Next, what made you fall for Sarah? Because of her boot. You and Watson should really keep a PG. What was the last thing you saw before the explosion? Sarky's swimming on a pool of his blood. Why are you so handsome? I know you don't really mean it, but thanks. Did you consider sleeping with Sarky? Yeah, why? Well, oh! Oh! We had that other couple we didn't know that. Please don't do that again. Did you really want to become a soldier or was it peer pressure? It's honestly peer pressure. I regret it. Oh, if you have the chance to talk to Sarah right now, what do you want to tell her? Show. Never change, Samson. Samson. How do you feel that Leo broke your copita? You had to remind me, huh? Why are you so hot? My, my, what's your number, love? Will you marry me? It depends. Will you let me freak every night? Uh, <laughs> who's your favorite sibling? Is that even a question? Many me. What is one thing that you wish you could have done? Not join the army. Who's your favorite nephew? Loki, that kid is going places. Probably not college, but places. Poor Samson. Are you going to pull Janine's legs while she's sleeping for killing you off? You just gave me an idea. What do you like the most about Ramon and Liam's relationship? Their love is real. And when love is love, if love is real, it finds a way. Do you want to get ice cream with me? Aw, as long as we get a freak after. How do you like your women? Get Samson! If you weren't in the military, what would you be doing? I'm probably a CSI shit because that's what I finished. For cynic science. Okay, that's cool. I didn't even know that. Wow. What is it, son? That I finally decided which program to take. Finally took you three months to decide. For cynic science. I wasn't expecting that. But if that's what you want, then I'll support you. I want to be as cool as these peas from CSI. As stated, inorganic chemistry deals dominantly with the 70 metal elements in combination with non-metals with metal slash metal chemistry and with the F are they talking about? He's probably going to go home and be like, I joined the army. Dad, it's too hard. You have to actually learn science and shit. Well, too bad you're finishing your degree whether you like it or not. Uh-oh. Are you sure you want to take pharmacy? Yes, daddy. Samson, hurry up. Come on, we might have missed your ceremony. Oh, did he do it? He did it. Done. Can I hold him? Hey there, Janine's mini-me. Is this Link or Loki? That's Loki. Link is already walking. Sam! <laughs> well, I'm sorry. You have so many kids. I don't know who's who anymore. All right, let's get in the car now. And again, congrats, bro. I'm so proud of you. I'm very proud of him, too. Thanks, Mini-Me. Now I can finally be cool like Horatio from CSI. I don't know if I said his name right. I'm so sorry if I messed up. You studied for cynic science just to be like that fictional character? Shut up. Which brothers do you like the most? I like them both equally because they're both perfectly balanced. One is an angel while the other one is a demon. I think you know who's who. What would be the first thing you would do if you survived? Bish, I'd run. What are you expecting me to do? Take a selfie? Samson, what are you going to propose to me? Hang on, let me just go back to being live. 
What do you love about Ramona the most besides the fact she looks like you? She's gentle but tough. And that she always tried to see the good in everyone and everything. How many girls have you had? It'll take us three years to count. What's the one thing you and your sister used to argue about and why? She always wears my clothes. Uh oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Please don't tell daddy I got home late. Since when did I snitch you? I'm only here for my clothes. Stop wearing it. But this shirt's so cute. Yeah, I know. That's how I was planning to wear that earlier. Oh, I love you. Mini me. What the? This top is cute out of my look. It's so soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's so annoying when someone wears your clothes, eh? Okay, I get it. I won't wear your stuff anymore. That was funny. Who would you choose to save, Lars or Aries? Hmm. No one, because I'm the one who needs to be saved anyway. Can I be your zombie wife? Sure, let's make zombie babies. Can you lick your elbow? Yes, want me to lick yours too. Samson, want to play Titanic? You'd be the iceberg and I'll go down. My, my, here's my address. All right, we're doing Starkey. I can't believe my wife put you into this. Are you ready to answer these questions? Of course, I can never say no to your wife. Do the interview or I'll shoot them. We, we really can't say no. All right, first question. How are you so sexy? Whoever you are, I like you. Can I see your eight pack one last time? Oh. Starkey's giving the people what they want me. This is not a question, but I hope Starkey is a real human being. I'm actually based on a real person. Yeah, and his name is Starkey as well. Oh, next, will you ever shave your beautiful face? Who shaves their face? I think you're talking about your beard. Never will you marry me. If you're Victoria, then yes. Oh, Victoria. Marry me instead of Victoria. Can we kiss? Sure, it'll be our little secrets. Victoria, I'm just kidding. You know what? Give me that. Go make some babies with Janine. Okay, so Starkey's taking over. We're finally alone. Okay, next question. Did you have a good time with the president? She's different, okay? How good was Madam President? Rate 1 to 10. 20 and I loved her. Do you have a thing for Samson? <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? Fulfill Samson's fantasies and shag him. What if he gets pregnant? I'm not ready to be a father. Can you believe Janine did this to you? Yeah, she Loki hates me. Why is Janine so evil? The gods forgot to balance her height and evilness. What do you think of Janine? No comment. What's your most favorite moment with Liam? When he told me I can stay here. Little did I know that I'll regret it one day. If Liam wouldn't be with her Mona, would he try to flirt or get with her? No, she's the general's daughter. I almost died when I slept with the captain's sister. If you and Liam weren't bros, would you still be good friends? Without a doubt. Who's your fave, Liam or Ramona? Good question. Next. Can you not die? You won't witness Ramona being officially your sister-in-law. Nope, you're still gonna die. Until further notice, lol. Oh, well, at least I tried. If Liam or Ramona was injured, who will you help? The other one left unaided will die. Why are you making me suffer? Who, what's your biggest dream? To see you naked, am I? Keep it PG. Who's your mama? Serena Watson. How did you and Lars become friends? We used to be on the same team. Whose life you want to live? Aries, his wife is hot. Oh, we were getting real tea. If you did not join the army, what job would you have done? I have a master's degree in architecture. Oh, how are you and Liam's stepbrothers? My dad married his mom. What's your favorite food? P Starkey! Can you come and haunt me after you die? I don't know about haunt, but I'll definitely come. G we get it, Starkey, we get it! White or red roses for the funeral, sir? Too soon, my friend. And luckily, Starkey doesn't die. He's with us to this day. Have you got a list of things you want to do in your life? Ruin a loose day, stab a guy and take his food. Will you come back as a zombie? No, my dick might fall off. Pineapple on pizza. Pineapple on your put. Watson. Also to everyone who said they love me, I love you too. By the way, this interview was made a long time ago. So this is what I look like now. And yes, I lived. What can I say? Jenny loves me and we the people love you, Sarki. Shut up before I change my mind again. 
Okay, and we are going to end it here. There was a few interviews left with some of the more side characters, and there was the deleted scenes. But I want you guys to go support Janine yourself. Go check out the bonus chapter if you want to see little extra bonuses. But I feel we did most of the main characters interviews. We got the tea from them. And this video is getting really, really long. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, go check out Times Square. Go try the other routes. I want to know the other endings. If you've read, don't fully spoil the ending because like I don't, I, I kind of want to read it myself. And of course, go check out the bonus chapter if you're interested in the last two or three interviews with a couple characters like the kids, like Loki, and go check out those deleted scenes. But thank you so much, everyone, for watching the story with me. Thank you for following along with me. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you to Janine for letting me read your story. It was so funny, so good. I absolutely loved it. This was so good. And the interviews solidified my love for the characters. They are all unique in their own way. Now I can talk about my thoughts and opinions on the story. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved the plot line. It was kind of like how I mentioned the very intro to the video. It was the perfect balance between there was some good, serious parts of the story, but also so much fun tons of humor the characters were all written so good and you got to know all of them even the side characters you kind of got to know and you kind of got a feel for and i love that when i care about the characters because the story can be good but if i'm not caring about the characters it, it wasn't that good mm, and especially i mean it can be but especially with a story really centered around characters which you know most stories are it, it, it makes a difference if you like the characters. I'm not saying you have to like them. You can hate a character too, as long as you have an emotion evoked from you, which this story did and why I loved it. I'm so sad to see it go, but it was really good. I would give it a five out of five. I loved everything about it. I did like how there was something serious. Like we didn't come back completely from the trauma that happened with Sarky, Samson, and Victoria dying. I like how we got Sarky back. You know, he survived and they made it, you know, it, it made sense. But also it wasn't like we found all three of them. Like, we're here. Like, there was a sense of, like, that sadness and that realism that, you know, Samson and Victoria did pass away. But I like that Sarky was able to come back. So I liked, I just liked every piece of the story the humor the romances were good i really love how we started out hating at least i did hating armin and by the end i just love him so much and i'm so happy for him and jay so was an amazing story again five out of five let me know your guys thoughts and opinions on the story in the comments below what did you guys think of it who was your favorite character mine would have to be starkey y'all already know mr sexy with the perfect humor so happy he lived who's your favorite character or characters and what was your favorite part in the story let me know in the comments below but thank you so much as always for watching and reading and reacting along with me i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope to see you in the next one thank you so much again everyone bye